All right, moving the fuck on to talk about fucking China. We were just talking about this a little bit when we were talking about Russia, but fucking... What the fuck is this garbage? Check this... Check this shit. I, I just... Let's... Let's just get into this because words... Words can't really do justice. Uh... Democrats, Republicans hope Biden will take a harder line on Chinese sub, uh, a summit begins. As the Biden administration holds its highest levels meetings with China since taking office, it enjoys broad bipartisan support for taking a top stance towards Beijing, but also faces skepticism about whether the talks would bring real policy changes. All right, so President Joe Biden, who Chinese President Xi Jinping has called an old friend, the Chinese president, mind you, the, the leader of the, the Chinese Communist Fuckery Party, is called him an old friend, finds a crossroads in U.S. policies as top officials gather in Alaska for two-day summit. American public opinion is overwhelming because both Democrats and Republicans now describe China as a dire threat, pushing legislation to impose more sanctions in Beijing over human rights abuses and protect U.S. companies against Chinese trade policies. Well, hopefully you actually fucking do that, but I think it might be too late. The Biden administration plans to use the rare consensus as leverage when the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan meet Thursday and Friday in Anchorage with China's top diplomat, Yang Jiagik, and Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. So, like, yeah, we're, we're meeting with fucking China in our own fucking country. If China is such a goddamn problem, I'm not saying that we can't meet with them and try and come up with a diplomatic solution, even though I don't think that's going to work. We should pursue all avenues. But it should have been on a... a, 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 a they shouldn't be here. They should, it, we should have went to a, a, a neutral location. Come on. This is fucking... Old school fucking fight politics 101. Uh, senior administration officials said that the U.S. plans to outline some specific areas where China must take steps to change course before the relationship can move forward in a substantive way. The chief points of tensions from the U.S. side include China's increasingly aggressive military posture in the region, cyber intrusions, intellectual property theft, trade, and human rights abuses, including actions in Hong Kong and Beijing. Yes, that's good, but what about fucking the China virus? Uh, I want to continue reading, yeah. Of course I want to continue reading. Why wouldn't I want to read the whole goddamn thing? But, but now that this has interrupted me, we, we can't allow what's going on in Hong Kong consistently. If we believe in our values, then and we said never again, and they're harvesting fucking uh, organs and shit, and the Uyghur Muslims, and they're stepping in and taking We have to do something. We have to stand up on it. Like, succeed or fail, we have to hold what, our, what we believe to be fucking true or... We're fucking hypocrites. Okay, what where we're looking for is more than words. The senior administration official says, said Biden's officials and lawmakers in Congress say that they're looking for some same from Biden. Then yeah, Biden ain't going to do anything to fucking China. The new administration has in some of the earlier guidance elevated China, so it's there, and at least on paper, senior intelligence office and Chinese military capabilities. So I'm hopeful that we don't spend a lot of time continuing to diagnose the problem, but we start to get active in executing solutions. Uh, too fucking late. Too little too late. Senator Marco Rubio and Wednesday have been to China's strategy is something that bears watching and as fair as Beijing will lure us into a deal that we think is so important that we can't have China walk from it. And then they'll start insisting on us to stop talking about Hong Kong, stop talking about Taiwan, stop talking about the Muslims' labor camp, stop talking about these sort of things. And we, yeah, we can't do it. I can't believe the, this is true. President Trump, we, we, we can't allow this type of shit to continue. It's 2021, and all of humanity, and this is not just Americans, I'm talking to you, the British, I'm talking to you, the French, I'm talking to you, the Germans, I'm talking to all of you fucking, didn't we say never a fuck again? Well, it's happening again, and it's it's not happening again fucking hundreds of years down the line, Not it's happening in your fucking lifetime, and what are you doing about it? Absolutely nothing, because you're worried about fucking raising your children to shit, but what's it matter about raising your children if you raise your children into a totalitarian hellhole? What kind of life are you fucking leaving? Uh, I, I can get into that all day long, but let's uh, let's continue this. President Trump brought unpredictable to the world stage. Biden does not, and he's dropped some of his presidential harsh language towards Beijing while picking up a hard line 
on human rights, but he hasn't dropped the Trump policies. Trump's conversion tariffs are good, 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 good. Uh, for instance, remaining in place, you get, I, I, you got to give Biden credit with because that, that's good, good, good. Uh, hopefully that stays in place. The policy that others are still under review and administration uh, still even current senior minister officials who served in the Obama administration can see that the problems in the U.S. relations with trying to stretch back farther than Trump. Of course it does. It, it goes back as old as dirt. We inherited a very challenging situation from not a previous, but going way back when it was a, if, I can't believe people even thought it was Trump's fault. In the run-up the meeting in Alaska, the Biden administration sent an unmistakable signal to China that it would take a tough line in Beijing and back up U.S. allies in Asia. During a visit to Japan, Blinken warned against coercion and aggression by Beijing and vowed that the U.S. would push back if necessary defense. Good, 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 good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm hearing this. I'm let, follow through with the words. Follow through with the words because we know these guys like the, like the, like the, like the talk the talk, but they never fucking walk the walk. Uh, who John Blinken for talks Japanese counterpart to Tokyo cited the actions East China sees. They're making it very, very clear that they don't trust China. Of course. who, who Nobody fucking trusts China right now. The messaging this is from George W. Bush's era. The messaging is involving by Biden's administration this week with high profile visits to staunch U.S. allies, Japan, and South Korea appeared aim to convey to China that there would be no return to a more conciliatory tone employed by the former Biden in Washington. Would rather rally allies to confront Beijing, according to. I don't know if we want to fall into Fushidi's trap, but. <laughs> the face to face talks in Alaska are not going to be. A love fest. Of course, they, they shouldn't even be in fucking Alaska. We should be in a third party neutral location. Senior administration officials briefing reporter that in advance the Anchorage meeting said that they don't anticipate the policy pronouncement after the meetings, which described as one off, beginning a dialogue process with the Chinese. I'm glad to see that this is starting to get fucking headlines, though. Please don't be fake news and actually be doing something about it. Something about it, not like something stupid that fucks us in the ass. Chinese you know, key issues that. Now, now it's getting into the coof stuff. We're not going to continue reading this. Um, you get the gist of what's going on. China is out of control. And it's not the Chinese people, so stop the Asian hate crimes. It's the Chinese Communist Party. There are people in China walking off of buildings trying to kill themselves, being caught by nets because they're government shitbags. It's totalitarian fuckery from a fucking Chinese government, not the Chinese people. So please stop the hate crimes. But we got to do something about the CCP uh, because their fuckery, we, we can't allow it to to move forward because we said never again and never again means never again. I'm just saying.